Hello YouTube, B3, you're back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over a figure I've been wanting for quite a while and I've finally put him all together. It is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Rhino Build-A-Figure. Yeah, he's from the third Spider-Man wave for the Marvel Legends Infinite Series. I don't know if they're calling it Infinite Series still, but this wave was under the Infinite Series title. There's another Spider-Man wave out now that builds Absorbing Man. Yeah. So, can't wait to get to that. But right now we do have Rhino, who I think is probably the best recent Build-A-Figure I've done. Uh, I mean, like, in the recent months. But, uh, yeah, so let's zoom out here. The Rhino is an awesome villain, in my opinion. And this figure really does him justice, I think. It's a very, very good figure. Um... It's quite big, very big figure, and I think the sculpt is great. Lots of lines and bumps, looks like real rhino hide on this dude, and just look at the detail and paint on the feet and all over this guy. I mean, he looks absolutely, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Just 100% incredible. I really, really like him. I very much like him. And look at the horns and everything. He looks really nice. He's a very nice looking figure. Um, the shoulder pads are removable. You don't get terribly much articulation going up and down when you have him on, but you can get a good bit going up and down uh, when you have him off. They're optional because he still has all the detail and paint under the cover. Uh, you'll have those little holes, but you know, if you're prefer to just have him posed up in a way that requires his arms to be out more, you'll probably want the shoulder pads off, which is really no big deal. I just kind of see him as another accessory, which is really nice. And he has another accessory as well. Uh, if you pop his head off, I'm sure you saw... Hold on one sec, he's got to be a little closer for this to work out. There we go. I'm sure you saw my Scarlet Spider review. But, in that review I showed you, oops, <laughs> got out of focus there, his alternate head sculpt, which looks really, really crazy. Uh, he's just screaming, he looks like a psycho. I prefer the other head sculpt because it's calmer. And I also like uh, the rhino pelt covering the eyes, I think that looks cool. But, you know, this is just a crazy screaming head sculpt. Uh, really crazy. Now we'll do articulation. The head moves up and down, as you can see. We get a nice side-to-side -side on it as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you saw the up and down on the arms, forward and back. You have a bicep swivel, an elbow bend, a wrist swivel, and forward and back on the wrist as well, which is pretty cool. He has a pretty decent ab crunch forward, back a little. Waist swivel right there, in and out on the legs, forward and not too much back, but forward plenty, and then you have a thigh swivel, you have this knee bend which is really rough and tight, but it's sculpted in there, as you can see. So, really rough knee bend, but I'm sure I could loosen that up if I really needed to. And then up and down on the foot, and of course the ankle pivot we've all come to know and love. So yeah, that is how you move Rhino all about. So now, I think we should do some size comparisons. Now here's Rhino with some other Marvel Legends. Here on the left we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Electro from a recent, well not terribly recent, but an older Marvel Legends Infinite Series wave. And I think they're fine together and I think Rhino's also fine with uh, the comic series Iron Patriot from the Iron Man 3 line here on the right. So you know I think he looks good with these figures. And here's Rhino with some non-Hasbro Marvel figures. Here on the left we have a Toy Biz Carnage and on the right a Diamond Select Venom. And uh, I don't really like it. Uh, Rhino, Rhino's big and so he's fine with Carnage but Venom, no. No, no, no. Venom is too big for him here. There's a Marvel Select uh, Rhino you can get. That's quite an awesome figure. I probably won't need to pick it up. It's kind of an older figure at this point. From like maybe 2012, maybe? I don't know. Some some time like that. 2012, 2013. But um, yeah, you know, I think he's fine with that Carnage, but not with that Venom.
And here's Rhino with his wave. These are all the figures I had to buy to build Rhino. Uh, I did not get Misty Knight, even though she was in this wave, because I'm not familiar with the character, and she comes with the same Build-A-Figure piece as White Tiger, which I found a little odd because she was a running change of Ghost Rider, but still. So I don't have Misty Knight. I apologize for that. I didn't review her, obviously, because I don't have her. But I do have all these guys. From left to right, we have the Superior Venom, the Chameleon, White Tiger, Scarlet Spider, Ghost Rider, and Kraven the Hunter. And this was quite a good wave. The Spider-Man waves are always the best wave. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Spider-Man waves have better figures, more accessories, and just they're just all around better. And it's because Spider-Man's the best, and his merchandise sells more than any other superheroes. So, thank you Spider-Man for being amazing. <laughs> But yes, I, I love every single one of these figures, and uh, I'm very glad I picked up this wave. And lastly, I'd just like to show them with some other recent Build-A-Figures real quick. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Ultron Build-A-Figure from Age of Ultron here on the left, and the Age of Ultron Hulkbuster figure here on the right. So yeah, honestly, I think he scales fine with these. I think this Rhino is looking good with other Build-A-Figures, and honestly, I think he's the best Build-A-Figure uh, of the three. Yeah, sure, you know, Hulkbuster's gigantic and awesome and beautiful, and I love the Hulkbuster, but uh, I feel like I get more out of the Rhino. The Rhino at least has a little bit of accessories, you know, that's really nice. And I think that the Rhino is a winner in all categories. Articulation, detail, accessories, sizing, everything is pretty much correct on him. And then, you know, we're missing a lot of paint detail on the Hulkbuster, which is fine because he's such a huge figure and a paint budget wouldn't allow them to paint him in his entirety. And Ultron, however, uh, his articulation could be better. He isn't painted fully, it seems. There's a lot of paint missing on the back. He's way better than Ultron. And a little better than Hulkbuster, too, even though he is the smaller Build-A-Figure. I like him more. But I do think he scales well. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Marvel Legends Rhino Build-A-Figure? Well, he's quite good. He has good articulation, even though the knees could be, you know, a little looser. They're really tight, but I think it's just because of the angle they're at. But some hot water might fix them right up. I don't know. I'll have him standing straight up in the display, so I don't really need them to bend. He has our, you know, great detail and paint, interchangeable heads, uh, optional shoulder pads. He's a really cool figure. He scales well on everything, like I just mentioned, and I'm very proud to own him. All in all, I think five out of five stars. Yeah, I really, really like this figure. Uh, I think he's great. I think the figures in his wave are great. Some of them could have been a tiny bit better, maybe. But um, when you get stuff like that Scarlet Spider, Craven the Hunter, Chameleon, all great figures. So yeah, that's it you guys. Thank you all so much. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see y'all later.